Hi everyone, welcome to another video of SyncBricks. In today's video, I'll show you how we can add the virtual monitor to your computer. If you see here, these are two monitors here. In case I want to add a virtual monitor here, that can be used for any purpose and I'll show you that why I'm doing that. And in order to install, I have provided the link in the description. First of all, we'll be downloading the display driver here. That will be for virtual monitor and this display driver is added here. So I'll be simply copying this into folder. And here is virtual monitor driver, which is downloaded here. I'll be extracting all here. And here are the installation files. So I'll be running here CMD and run as administrator. And then I can open this particular path here. And I'll do CD. And this path will be opened here. I'll do CLS and here DIR. So these are all the drivers which are available here. So I'll be opening this particular folder here. Here we go. So DIR. So these are all the files here. So what we can do here, we need to run this command which is mentioned here. So we'll follow this device installer 64 install usb midd usb midd so we'll run this copy this and here i'll be just pasting it over here and enter we'll wait for this you can see here that driver has been successfully installed and now we need to do one more step here device installer has to be enabled so i'll be just enabling this copy this command and paste it over here so my screen might flicker for some time here you can see it has detected the monitor and now third monitor must be available if i go back here and you can see here this third monitor is now available this is how you can install and this might be sometimes required for example if i open the obs studio in case i want to add another display capture you can see here that i can bring in the third display also which is not having any display right now and i can of course get anything into that display i can do the display settings from here up to 4k the resolution can be changed so i can make it hd resolution and keep the changes and now if i go back here to the obs studio so this is my third screen which is virtual screen the display of that screen is appearing here move this particular window to that third display which is of course visible right now but i can can see here this is the virtual display which is added here so this will help you to do screen recording or share the different screen for example if you have added this particular window to that screen so you can share that screen when you're doing online meetings so you can share that screen and maybe you do not have the physical screen available but through virtually you can display that to secondary screen and then you can keep giving your presentations so this is the way you can install the virtual screen so i have provided the link in the description where you can see how we can do that so see you in the next video take care and goodbye